Hey folks, this is Donnie. I'm at the property. And you can see I've got a bucket. I want to put some more corn out. Oh dear. We got the property adjacent to us on our west side. People are hunting it. So we have made um, a safe haven for the deer over here. I hunt, um, but I don't hunt here. Um, what we got right back there, where it's real thick, uh, the bushes you see right here behind me, that tall growth about 60 to 70 yards further that direction it was a bedding area i didn't make the bedding area they just started bedding in it the hurricane blew a bunch of stuff over and it made them a lot of safe cover and so we feed them over here to try to keep them on this property because we don't allow nobody to hunt it just to give them a safe area. We have a lot of mamas that have babies out here. And we got one, she's got two babies. And several times when I've been out here, she's actually walked up within 50 feet of me. She's not afraid of people. Um, so we may see her. She may come up when she hears me pouring the corn out. But back, that direction, uh, I think. Let me move over where you can see it. The wind's blowing really bad today. What's behind them? Tall, thin oaks right in the middle of the screen. Right back there, where it gets thick, that dark growth right there is where the bed, the beds are at. We had just three deer bedding in it one doe by herself and then another doe well four um two does and two babies in this area here i put the flags up we just we put stuff up like that so if poachers are coming over here it looks like we're up here all the time to deter them from wanting to to try to hunt on our property. But that's what the, we got these orange ribbons all over. And I'll change it up. We'll come back next week. And then I'll move and I'll put some stuff back here. I just kind of move it around to where it looks like we're always out here. Let me get this put out right quick. Give me just a minute and I'll set the camera up, you guys can see what's going on.
miles, so the the raccoons will come in and sit on one pile and take it over. And there's uh, a mix of corn and minerals form. It's a, a trace mineral, it's a really heavy concentration trace mineral. I'm gonna put the camera up so that I can see. Oh, what we got coming on? Make sure we don't have no poachers. I got the camera and put it up right there. I guess. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'll put it here somewhere. Right now it's right there on that tree. I'll just leave it. That's a good spot for it. It's, it's hard to see right there. If the poachers come back. They come through there. They got a trail that comes through around that pine tree. Kim's hair ties. She cut her hair off, so she don't need them now. If you guys are wondering what's going on, where we've been, our home insurance company. State Farm has changed their um, their home insurance stuff. Any house built before 2002 or 2000, yeah, 2002. They're trying to make it to where um, they're trying to drop you to where you don't have insurance coverage. And so they raise standards. We have to have a four point inspection, ins insurance inspection, or we lose coverage. So we're having to replace the soffit around the house. We've got to, we're redoing the walls and the garage and the laundry room. We gotta replace three doors. We're doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of other stuff in the process. It's a lot of work. There's our mineral bags right there. We gotta come up with the trailer. Got a lot of stuff we got to haul off of here. Time to start the cleaning again. But anyhow, the our internet I want to move the table where the our computer sits and the internet and all that stuff is and uh, oh the internet gadget the um, the Wi-Fi thing, the Wi-Fi box, it's new. The last one went out. I had to get it changed. We didn't have internet for a while. This time I scooted the table over that everything's sitting on, a little small rinky-dink round table in that little internet box that you plug your computer to so you have internet. It fell off the table and hit the little wooden chair that's on it. It didn't break, so it's just a plastic box. Um, but anyhow, it bounced off the that chair 
and hit the hardwood floor. And that was the end of the internet. And Xfinity said to bring it in. And we could swap it out for another one. And I just, I haven't had time. We have to drive all the way into Panama City, which is a pretty good ride from us. It's not real far. But it's probably a 40 minute drive to get there and I haven't had time to do that and I finally um, a, a, a day before yesterday Kim went to town I took the day off and I went hunting she was in Panama City, which is a pretty good ride from the house, and I was a couple of hours north of Panama City. And she called me the car. The van broke. She can't steer it, can't do anything. And she sent me a picture of a of a like a pulley. Well I contacted the people on our stuff for us and they said that's a harmonic balancer and so we I had to pick up the trailer and go pick the van up and then drive all the way to Panama City Beach which is a different city than Panama City and drop it off I'm trying to lock up we're at the property uh, we had to drop that off to get it fixed and luckily I remembered to bring the uh, the internet thing with me. This is the gate to our property. I just had to lock it up. So we brought it, we got the van dropped off. Um, since I had the trailer to pick up the, the van, we offloaded it at the mechanic shop and we went by, did the internet thing, and picked up material. I had to pick up some, <clears throat> five sheets of plywood, some caulking, and some other stuff that Chris said we needed to have to finish the roof, uh, the repair, the soffit repair. I was coming through to get to our house, you have to, and you're in Panama City, you have to go through Lynn Haven and then Southport and then continue north and you'll eventually get to our house. We just got into Lynn Haven and our brother Don Moore called and said, yeah, are you excited about your, the show tonight on Bigfoot Odyssey? And I forgot all about it. And that was five o'clock, the show started at six o'clock so it was a train wreck trying to get home in time get the internet thing hooked up um, and get on the show I was actually late but I contacted Daniela to let her know that we were not home I was trying to get there we got there I plugged up the internet box and then you have to go through a little process for it to connect and do all, all the stuff that it does so you have internet and that was 15 minutes I guess long story short we finally got online internet's fixed I've got uh, quite a bit of video footage going out to our hunting area trying to get it set up and I did have a pretty strange experience but one of the things that happened yesterday, and I wanted to come on last night, but we didn't get back home until late. And so I wasn't able to do it. But um, right past our house is an intersection. And we got up there last night. They had a wreck. The southbound traffic, there's a turning lane to go east. 
we were headed north. There were three vehicles. One car slammed into the back end of a little pickup truck that was at the red light. Um, or the pickup truck, I, I forget. Anyway, one car hit the back of another car. That one hit the car in front of it. Highway Patrol was there. The uh, fire department, we had to pull over before we even got to the intersection. Fire truck was going there. The ambulance wasn't there yet. And we got through the intersection. We had to go really slow because of the EMS vehicles that were there. The Highway Patrol, uh, County, Sheriff. We got about 100 yards past the actual accident. And this was during the daytime. A figure, I was going about 30 miles an hour waiting to get past everybody so we could speed up to the normal 55. Uh, let me see if I can turn it where I can show you. All right, the front corner of the, the, the truck here, a figure, it looked like it was made of black smoke was in the road and it walked pretty fast right across the road missing the corner of my my truck by probably five feet and it looked like it looked like a ghost but it was black solid black made of smoke and it just went right past the car i could see the head the shoulders the arms the legs it was a person or something made of smoke walking and I, it didn't dawn on me until we got a few miles up the road I'm wondering if somebody died in that accident maybe that was a spirit or somebody was in the car that passed away and it was um, a divine being or even a demonic being. I don't know I'm just throwing things out there but it was Without a doubt, there was a figure. It looked the size of an average grown man, 5'10 to 6 foot. And it was, um, it was smoke. You could see the swirling in it of smoke, but it was walking, walking quite fast. And it, I seen it as we approached it. And I hit the brake just as it, um, I hit the brake right when I seen it. And it was, it was right here coming across the road. And I seen it. When it got right by there, I hit the brake and we just missed it. It just went past the corner of the, of the truck. And I looked over at Cam. I said, did you see that? She was on her phone and she didn't, she didn't see it. But, um, I don't know if it was strange. A lot of weird things are happening. Guys, I'm sorry this is so long and drug out and there's absolutely nothing important in here. I just want to touch base with everyone. Um, internet's been down and I just, I've just i been too busy to take the little internet box and go get it swapped out. But it's done. Internet's working. Uh, I did a very short test video on StreamYard and I played it back and I could hear the that clicking in the microphone that's been going on and for a few seconds it was uh, it, it was not as loud as what it normally is when we do a show and then it just it jumped up and it's was a lot louder than it's been so it's whatever it is it's not in the actual the internet box it's either I'm almost positive it is picking up the EMF of the electricity and that's the reason for the clicking it's the frequency the Hertz or cycles however you want to say it of the electricity going to the power company and back to our home when you see your appliances that say 60 hertz or 120 
volts on the back, the hertz is the cycles. That's how many times your electricity pulses from your house to the power company and back in a second. And it's, uh, most appliances are 60 hertz, 60 times a second. And I'm wondering if that's what the clicking is. Um, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm just throwing things out there. But guys, I have got to go now. I gotta run and get feed. This is the road going back to our property. There's one mailbox right there, but there's no house. It's just a, a road going into the woods at dead ends. There's nothing there. There's no house, there's no cottage. There's no shed, but I got nine miles of this to go down before I get uh, to the houses. And then we got another half a mile and I'll be at the highway. Our property is nine and a half miles off of the actual highway. And it is loaded with deer and other things out here. I'll give you a little view what's around me it's just all woods and there's a road here that uh, it goes probably 20 miles another long dirt road it goes a long way you guys can see there's nothing down there. there's no houses um, oh this is my hunting vehicle we needed something that could pull the tractor and haul our hay and we got a heck of a deal it's a suburban and it's it's got the four-wheel drive there's what the the dash looks like and there's my that's from the blue ridge georgia the blue ridge mountain expedition sasquatch museum my buddy david owns that and he sent that to me and some other things. So I carry a Bigfoot with me everywhere I go. There he is. <laughs> That's my Bigfoot buddy. All right, guys. Y'all have an absolute wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and all that you do. We love y'all. I will absolutely be seeing you soon. We'll be doing a live show. Um, I may try to do it tonight. Depends on how much we can get done today. I had to come up and do this. I had to, uh, a very important phone call on the way here and I had to stop because there's not much phone signal back here at all. And so I had to pull over for about 20 minutes uh, to talk to this man. And so I'm running a little bit behind. Now I gotta head north and about 20 miles to the feed store. We gotta go pick up some more feed. And I've got a bunch of um, articles for for you all. I've not read any of them. The last two that Brother Don sent me, I haven't even opened. Um, they're still in the paper clips, but I'll be doing that hopefully tonight. I love each and every one of you. Y'all have a wonderful day. And um, if you're upset with me for being absent, I apologize. I don't have a, I don't have nothing to tell you, a legitimate excuse to make you feel better. All I can do is say I'm sorry. We've been really, really busy. I'll try to put some pictures of what the soffit looks like. Got a little storm damage um, so anyway it's got to be replaced it's damaged quite bad and here we go through the mud yeah it's pretty nasty right here y'all have a good day i'll be seeing you guys soon god bless you don't forget always be safe